I'm Katie from The Littlest Thistle and I'm here today to show you the latest in my Cool Tools series and this week we're going to have a look at a wallpaper seam roller and how it can be used in sewing and quilting to help you along. One of my recent projects I've been working on is this Quilt As You Go panel and I'm using a lot of beautiful hand printed fabrics. Uh, most of these come from Karen Lewis of Karen Lewis Textiles and she does absolutely stunning work. But if you use a hot iron on a lot of these uh, hand printed fabrics, after a while you can start to melt the ink and it will make a mess of both your iron and the fabric because you'll start to smear things around. Now I didn't really want to make a mess of her lovely handiwork here so I needed to find an alternative as I built up this quilt as you go section and make sure that I wasn't overexposing the fabrics to heat. The answer to this came in the form of my handy little seam roller here. So the way this works is you sew your seam. Now in this case I'm going to show you a bit that will be added on to the side of the panel. Um, obviously you can just flip and add on a solid piece if you want to um, but it was easier to show you how this worked um, with a separate section. So I've sewn these pieces together with a normal quarter inch seam and I now need to open it out and press the seam on it. Um, when I'm doing quilt as you go I usually press the seams to one side so what I'm going to do is flip this over and as everybody knows quilters turn to the dark side and we will take our seam roller here and I'm just going to roll this up here give that little squish into place and then I'm going to flip it over and just give it another roll for luck there. And now I've got a beautifully flat seam, nothing's popping up on it, and now that's good to go to add the extra sections that will go on above this before I flip it over onto the, the quote as you go panel here. So no mess, um, it's a nice cheap tool to get hold of, I think this cost me all of about £6 on Amazon. Um, anywhere that sells DIY and wallpapering tools should be able to supply one of these. And there are some sewing shops that will sell wooden versions of these as seam rollers, but the idea behind using the ceramic one is that if you have used a bit of heat uh, say you've pressed the back of the fabric beforehand, it will retain a bit of the heat in it and just help things along a little bit. But as you've seen today, this was perfectly cold and, and worked very well at flattening that seam, so it's not an absolute necessity to have a, a ceramic one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's tip, and if you want to check out any more of the series, please pop over to my blog, that's www.thelittlestthistle.com, and you can find a link in the description underneath this video. Thanks for joining me today. Bye!